well, that's encouraging, encouraging that people are lining up for those vaccines. But still, we are dealing through this third wave that is flooding our hospitals and ICUs. Yesterday, the province reporting the highest positivity rate since the pandemic started, with daily case counts topping 4,000 for the sixth day in a row. And health officials are rushing to get more vaccines into arms as quickly as they can. Some GTA regions now offering shots to people 35 and older in some area codes. But is it going to be enough? Joining me now with the latest fight here and the latest on the virus, Dr. Howard Ovens, who is Chief Medical Strategy Officer at Sinai Health System. Good morning to you, Dr. Ovens. Good morning, Melanie. You probably just saw that lineup, and this is one of the hot zones in Toronto. It's encouraging, but it also is telling of what we need right now. Well, certainly uh, your heart goes out for people who had to line up. All, looks like they were there all night. But I am very, very happy to see that people of all ages are so keen to get vaccinated. Um, and I just wish we had more supply and more clinics to take care of them faster and uh, a little more conveniently. A lot of people, obviously today is significant in that those 40 plus can get the AstraZeneca vaccine at pharmacies and various primary care settings. But there is still a little bit of hesitation in a lot of conversations around this vaccine. And it is our job to be able to give people the information they need to outweigh risk and benefit and to look at both. So I'd love to break that down with you to talk about the AstraZeneca shot, the Moderna shot, J&J, &J, as well as Pfizer and, and what we can expect from both. So if we can bring up the first slide here, Dr. Ovens, and talking about how efficient these shots are individually. Well, this one actually that we're looking at is actually weighing out potential risk and benefits. So what are we looking at here? So, um, uh, this slide uh, refers to a community where the ex risk of exposure to COVID is currently low, which unfortunately is not Toronto or anywhere in the greater Toronto area. It might be some place like Halifax, I suppose. And therefore, the benefits um, of being vaccinated um, uh, are com being compared to the potential harms of the vaccine, uh, specifically the risk of the very rare um, dr but dramatic side effect that we've been reading about called VIPIT, which is vaccine-induced prothrombotic immune thrombocytopenia, which means that you've created antibodies to your platelets and they are causing your platelets to form lots of clots and those clots are consuming your platelets so your platelet counts now low. So on that slide, uh, we know that um, the risk of COVID in terms of getting serious illness, hospitalization or death varies with age. So the younger you are and the less um, COVID in your community, the less you're worried about COVID. And um, uh, the, uh, uh, as, it, as it happens, it appears that younger people and women are more at risk of VIPIT. So even though VIPIT is exceedingly rare, uh, there is a mathematical argument for um, delaying for an alternative vaccine if you're in a very young healthy cohort at low risk from COVID in a very safe community, again, such as perhaps uh, Halifax or Auckland, New Zealand. But in Toronto, uh, where the risk is currently quite high, mm -hmm. uh, that in all age groups, the risks of, uh, of getting into intensive care from encountering the virus far outweigh anywhere from uh, 10 to 100 times greater than the risk of, um, of, uh, of encountering this very, very rare adverse event. And uh, the other slide you just showed makes the point that all of the currently approved vaccines are really amazingly effective at preventing serious illness and death. And uh, they nearly 100% uh, effective at preventing uh, serious illness and death and uh, really very effective. Uh, we've focused on the difference in preventing mild or asymptomatic COVID. Um, we only care about that because uh, potentially if you have a mild case, you could still transmit COVID to people you work with, people you live with, which of course from a community uh, basis is still concerning, which is why we're still asking people uh, who've been vaccinated to continue to social distance, mask, et cetera. Um, 
But the bottom line is all of the four approved vaccines in Canada are incredibly effective at protecting you from serious illness and death, and they're incredibly safe. And there really isn't another example of something that has a risk of one in 100,000 that would change your behavior. Right. Uh, the risk of a car accident, the risk of a plane crash, the risk of being hit by lightning on a golf course. Uh, these are not the kinds of things that, that change our behavior. In fact, even uh, the birth control pill um, has a risk of one in 1,600 in causing a more traditional sort of blood clot. Significantly um, higher. And to put that into perspective, for people just who who, are, who hear hear the headlines, they see they hear the idea of blood clots, uh, and obviously people are concerned. But when you put it into context, uh, the risk is minimal compared to uh, Dr. Evans. We've actually run out of time, but here's what we're going to do: we're going to continue this conversation, and it's going to go for an hour long this afternoon. Uh, if we could put up the key here, uh, support Sinai.ca slash Sinai Live. This is where you can log on right now. There is a town hall, a panel, which will be hosted, moderated by myself. Dr. Ovens will be joining as well as a couple of other experts and professionals. If you have questions, they will be answered live for you. Again, happening at one this afternoon. So I encourage you, go to that website right now, sign on. We'll continue that discussion. Dr. Ovens, we'll talk to you this afternoon. Thanks so much. When you get a chance, roll up your sleeve, take your vaccine. I'm looking forward to it. Thank Speak you, to you so much. All right, 7:14 is your time right now. Dina said, "Oh, look at the sun behind me. We had to put the we had to put the shades down. I feel angelic." Oh,